So yeah, first of all, this uh, one goes inside. You've got to try and make all the inside rough around the hole. So yeah, it's on top. So that's the inside. Then with this, also on here, you've got the flow line, so you've got to follow the uh, arrows on there to make sure you're getting it and following the flow lines. So make a bit of a rough edge on there that will be the same size as that. Double check that because as, as I say, you have to make a rough edge. It's sort of like a bicycle tire when you've got a puncher. Uh, you always make that a bit rough. That. So the first thing we do is this little one, as I say, the interior one. You've got to make sure again you've got to pop it inside. Make sure it stays that way because otherwise it won't uh, melt, so to speak, in the longest possible bit to fill the hole. Uh, also I'm going to get rid of these things to make it a little bit easier to play with and manipulate the hose together. Again. So yeah, pop it in. You keep try and keep these uh, wires in it, or string, because that obviously helps you inside to manipulate it the way you want it. Okay, right, now pop that down. So first of all, once that's at 165, you put this one on for 10 minutes, and that will melt inside it. Careful of the hot plate, so you don't burn yourself. And then pop it down and clamp it. Once that's on, you click that, which is a timer, it will tick down. So yeah, now the 10 minutes has passed, you release it. Filled nicely, and again pull the, out, the outer patch off. Uh, again, make sure you're following the flow lines. So flow lines that way. Always make sure you put this bit of heat proof on as well, because if not, you burn the line. Uh, there you go. Pop it back in and down, and that'll be there for the next half an hour. Time has gone off, patch is done, you release it, pull that off, heat proof off, and there you go, perfectly sealed. You pop it out of this, pop it out, there you go.